Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Yasin, and I do a series on my channel called The Best Android Setups. It's where you guys submit your Android setups. I pick out my favorite ones and showcase them, and then you guys vote for your favorite setup, and that person ends up getting a prize. Now, if you haven't seen these videos, then you can click on the card right up here, and they'll also be linked down below in the description. But since I started that series, a lot of people have been coming up to me on Twitter, or Instagram, just asking me, how did you do that tweak? How did you do that? So this series is born from that. This is the best Android setups tutorial. So the way it's gonna work is that I'm going to be duplicating uh, the setup that won the previous episode of the best Android setups. So in episode four, we have a winner and that person was Shiva. So we are going to be duplicating Shiva's setup. And right now we have episode five going on. Like I said, you can click on the link down below in the description. Check those out, vote for your favorite setup, and then the winning setup is going to be on the next episode of the best Android setups tutorial. So this right here is what Shiva setup looks like and that's what we're going to be referencing and then right over here is everything that he sent in showing the information of what is on his setup. Okay, so before we start setting things up, you're going to need the following items. Nova Launcher, uh, KWGT, and the two plugins that are used in the setup which are the Feast plugin and the Andromeda plugin. I have all of those linked down below in the description so that it's easy for you guys to download and then we're going to jump right into the phone and start setting things up. So this right here is what my phone looks like and this is the setup that I'm running but what you want to do is go into settings and go into backup and import and click reset settings and you're going to reset Nova Launcher and you're going to just go ahead for a fresh start and come to a home screen that looks just like this. There are two screens here so what we want to do is delete one of them since this setup is just being used with one home screen and then on that home screen what we want to do is go ahead and delete everything that's on the home screen. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that real quick. So first thing that I like to start with is start applying the wallpaper, which I'll also have linked down below in the description, but all you do is click on wallpaper, pick an image, and it should be in your downloads folder if you download it from this video description, and then you want to set that wallpaper, and this is the wallpaper that he's using. Now on the setup, there are three different widgets. The top one is from the Feast plugin, and then the other two are from the Andromeda plugin. So let's start with the top one by pressing and holding on the screen, going into widget and looking for KWGT widget. And then you want to press and hold on KWGT, bring it where you want it, let it go, and then press and hold once again and resize it to the size that you want the widget to be. So once you resized it and it's on the home screen, you want to click on it so that you can go into the area where you select the plugins. So I have a bunch of plugins here because I play around with setups, but you should have Feast and you should also have Andromeda for KWGT. You want to click on Feast and I believe the top widget was widget number 71. So let's find it real quick. So we have 71 right here and we click on it and it shows up on here. If we right away click save and go home, then you'll see it's all over the place. So we need to tweak it a little and you want to press on that. And then you have this bottom section that has all the different elements to this widget. So we would like to delete everything else except for this colorful part that says the date of the week. So we start selecting these little boxes which let us know exactly what is being selected and we just want to select every single thing that's there except for the one that says Wednesday. So once you selected all of them, click delete and now it's deleted. So now we want to make sure we get the Wednesday centered and also sized correctly. So you want to go into it and then go to position and you can move it left and right. So you want to move it to the right and bring it down a little. So once you center it, you want to click save and then go home and see how it looks. It looks good, but it's still too big. So we need to make it smaller. So you tap it on again and then you want to go into layers. You can shift these side to side to change different things, but to change the size, you need to go into layers go to scaling and then bring that number down to maybe 75% because it was at 100. Click save and you'll see that it came down and it seems to fit a little bit better but there's still a little portion cut off at the top but let's see how it looks on the home screen. So we will click save, go home and you can see that it's cut from the top. We can fix that by just resizing the top portion up higher. Now that gives it a little bit more room. And to fix that real quick and have it refresh, you just want to go in there, click save, go back home, and now it refreshed 
and that widget is right there. So you can go ahead and do what you want with it in terms of layers by resizing and making it bigger or also going into the actual item and then going to the position and moving it up and down and that part is really up to you. Now let's move to the second widget, which is the Google search widget. So we're gonna press and hold once again, go to widgets, scroll up and find KWGT. And then we will press and hold on the first one, bring it to the middle where we want. Once it's on the home screen, you wanna click on it and resize it so that it fits in the area that you want to have the widget created. And now you wanna click on this so that you can go to the area where you can select the plugin. And I believe this is Andromeda plugin. So we select that. And this one right here is widget number 17. So we're gonna click on that. And now as you can see, there's a bunch of stuff going on in this widget, but we just want the top portion that says the Google and it's got the little search, voice search icon. So once again, these are all the elements to that widget. So we want to find all the elements that we don't want and by clicking on them, it will highlight it in a little blue square, letting you know what's selected and you just wanna delete that. So I'm just selecting everything that we don't want here and then I'm going to click the box and now that just leaves us with this portion right here, this area. And what we wanna do is move it down. So if we go to layers, it just lets us move scales but it doesn't let us move it up and down. In order to move it up and down, you need to select all the items here. So as soon as I start selecting all the items, pay attention up here to what appears. So this little crosshair appeared and you can click on it once all the items are selected and that lets you actually shift things up and down. So we're gonna put it right where we want it and we are going to click save and then go back. And now this is the part that we can go into the layers and change the scaling to something bigger so it fits better. So I'm gonna change this to 150%, click save, and now it's bigger. If I click save, go home, it's right there. There's a couple of things that need to be changed in terms of the color, so let's do that real quick. First thing that he changed is the G. So we wanna find the G in this list, look here, and this says G, so you wanna click in it, go into paint, and then go to the color and it was something purple. So we will click purple. You know what, I like a deeper, darker purple. So you'll click that and now the G is purple. The next, then we go back. The next item that was changed was the little speaker in here. So we wanna find the speaker and we don't think see anything that says speaker, but once again, you can select little items and see which one it is. So if I, now I found it, it's this font icon. If I click on it, I can go to paint, go to color, and I believe it was red. So we're gonna change that to red. And the last item we wanna change here before we click save is that line at the bottom. So that line is going to be one of these shapes so we can click on it. Yep, it's the first shape right here. You wanna click in the shape, you wanna go to paint, click color, and I believe it was black. So you wanna click black and then slide this slider over right here so that it's darker and then click that black and now we have a black line. You wanna click save, go back home, and that's exactly what the widget looks like. And now for the last widget at the bottom, we're gonna press and hold and click widget and find KWGT. And then you're going to press and hold on KWGT, put it on the home screen, and then you're gonna press it again, click resize and resize it to what we want. Once it's resized, you wanna tap on it and then you're gonna select the Andromeda for KWGT and I believe it's widget number 13. So there's a lot of elements in this widget and we gotta get rid, rid of some of them and make some tweaks. But let's see how it looks on the home screen. So we click save, go home, and it looks really nice on the home screen. But let's make those changes. So go in there and find the little icon at the top, which is not the ones day or the time, it's this one, and we're gonna delete that. Then we are going to go into the ones day and change that because he didn't have the day of the week, it just said the phone. And you can type in anything in here and it's going to be on there. So you wanna type in Galaxy S10 for me, but for you, whatever phone that you are using and we'll click save, and that's the Galaxy S10. But the font was also different and it was cursive, so let's find that, it's actually right over here, and now we have the Galaxy S10 in cursive. So if we go back, the other item that we need to change is this time at the bottom because Shiva had the date and not the time. So we will go into the this right here, text for the time, 
then you want to go into text and click here and then you want to delete this from the time so now instead of actually typing in the date we want to find the formula for the date in here because we want it to change every single day so the first or the second item here says format a date into text so you click there and you find the style of date that you like and then you select that so this is the one that he had and we click that that's the formula that's what it's going to look like you're going to click save and you're going to click save here and now we have that and this essentially is the home screen setup that shiva was using all he did is add a couple of icons and a couple of um, apps on the home screen and he was good to go this is the setup that he was using and this is the one that won from episode four. So that's what this whole series is gonna be about, showing you guys exactly how to duplicate these setups. I'm really sorry if the video was really long. I was trying to make sure that I showed you every single detail. So go ahead and check out episode five of the best Android setups by clicking on the card right up here or the link in the description. Vote for your favorite setup and then I'm going to be taking the winner of that episode and creating in the next setup of the best Android setup tutorials. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video helpful and you found it informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If it's your first time to my channel, definitely consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, stay plugged.